on to the next subject which is going to tie whatever we talked about together and it's consistency i want to hear your opinion on uh what the, like being consistent and relevant uh, what, what's your take on those okay well uh consistency guys i mean you make your schedule okay you want to make a schedule that's attainable that's sustainable you understand a schedule that you know monday wednesday friday i'm going to make my videos do, do those videos. Do the Monday, Tuesday, uh, to Wednesday, Friday. Don't put too much out there. You won't be able to, to keep up with it. You know what I mean? But what's important is that you have to show up every day. You know what I mean? Show up. Put that video out there. Uh, like I said, put stuff that you know there's a reason for somebody to watch it. They really want to know an answer. When you're making a video, do a question. Do a question that people are like, you know what? I'd really like that question answered. So I think I'm going to click that video. You know what I mean? So like I said, keep a schedule and don't stop. Even though you don't feel motivated one day, you got to fix it. There's something bothering you after. You got to, like I said, work out, uh, you know, hang out with very positive people. That's another thing I wanted to say. I I, can, I, got, I have a list probably of 500 miles of people that, that inspired me that are very positive and I changed my way of thinking completely. Uh, when there's somebody toxic, you got to get rid of that person right away. You know what I mean? Absolutely. He, he, he's an obstacle in front of you or her she or whatever. So um, like I said, keep uploading, keep those uploading schedules. Uh, Instagram, very important Instagram. You need to keep up the stories. The stories, you should have 10 stories, one post and a reel every day. It sounds like a lot, but trust me, there's ways to get it done without without a lot of effort you know what i mean and let's talk about reels real quick because uh I, i'm going to just assume which is not a good thing to do that not many people are familiar with reels stories okay. and doing instagram posts uh, i think more people are familiar with that than reels is there a the tips do you have any tips or tactics or any formula to doing reels what is it like what is the this funny, uh, funny thing or is that i don't do reels um but okay suggest uh -huh. right I do, yeah. uh, now I'm up to about 10 stories a day, uh -huh. and I do a post. Uh, it's usually a post about what I have on my show, channel, right? Mm -hmm. And let me tell you, the posts, they help you a lot. Mm -hmm. Because one thing that people don't understand, it's very hard to remember something for people. Like, I could post uh, this episode here, like, beforehand 5,000 times, but for somebody to remember, oh, okay, 3 o'clock, I have to go. It in Italian, we say, la mano de di. It takes... It takes an incredible force to make someone remember. I saw the hand. Off. I saw the hand. When the hand comes up, <laughs> oh, like, I saw that oh, cannoli post too. He goes, oh, I forgot. And then he was crying. I'm like, it's okay, buddy. But, you know, that's why you have uh, premieres. That's why you, you have a community post. And people do not use this community post for the life of them. They know they have it. They don't use it. I don't understand why. Um I know there's not a lot of action uh, as on Instagram and other places, but uh, you got to share it. Sometimes you got to message people. Say, hey, I'm going to be here one day. Can, can you come and support? You really, really got to work. You got to work your ass off. Um, like I said, people's times are precious too. Hey, they don't have mm -hmm. the, all the time in the world to come see you. They got uh, kids. They got stuff. Uh, their kids at school. They have uh, housework, uh, their job, personal problems, this, that. So like I said, it takes a lot for someone to say, okay, I'm going to come watch you. You know what I mean? That's why it's Definitely. so hard. And, um, and that this is true and and just to add on to that to that topic being being consistent being consistent with your uploads is going to assure the consistency of your videos and up, uh, uh, views as well because people are going to depend on your uploads and whether it's an entertainment or education they want to get more of you if they're a fan of your channel they want to see more of you so if yeah. you're uploading one day and it takes you forever to upload another one uh, the, uh, you're going to lose the trust and once you lose the trust you lose everything you need yeah. to create the trust with the fan trust that hey i'm gonna upload for example two three times a week and you stick to those days you break it you're done definitely sticking consistent and and uh, that that's number uh, that, that's that's one of the best way of adding value and and one thing uh, i wanted to 
also add on to uh, have I want to highlight this point that Ange made during the uh, a lot of the talk that he just gave. I want you to take the specific uh, wisdom out of Ange's message too. When you're putting titles to your videos, Ange said something similar to where create a title where it's similar to question, like create a, a curiosity around it. When someone's reading uh, the title of your video on a, on a, on their phone or or on their computer, uh, they, they it's something that's going to intrigue them, something that's going to say, okay, I want to see what happened. And just to give an example to that, yesterday I posted a shorts video about my uh, German Doberman having a boiled cabbage as a snack. He loves it. And um, but the question, but the the title I put it as was uh, my uh, purebred German Doberman uh, loves this snack now i created a curiosity about the snack and i didn't say what snack is if you want to find out yeah. what snack that is you gotta hit the video and watch it that's another way of doing it what Ange said so either you yeah. can create a title as a question form or you can create a title that's a half sentence and leaves the good part out for viewers to click on it and watch it so i wanted to yeah. highlight that uh, the, the uh, that tip that you just gave us you, you brought up a good point, Gore. You know, like, uh, guys, check out Gore's new video. He made a short about his dog giving him a treat. And I told him, you hit that that video on the nail. You hit yeah. it on the nail. Yeah. Uh, you put the hashtag shorts. And guess what? It showed up on the shorts reel. Okay. Yes. So that's another thing you guys have to understand. There's also hashtags. That, they help a lot. Today, I made a birthday post. Usually on Instagram, when I put a hashtag, there's anywhere from three to ten more views based on the hashtag. Right? So today there was actually 67 people that saw my post because of the hashtag. Wow. And the post I did for my birthday today was one of the best posts I've ever done. Mm -hmm. Why? Because there's a lot of engagement. People see it. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, uh, you know, uh, I appreciate whatever you like. There's a lot of likes. There's a lot of comments. When Instagram sees that, they start showing it to more people. They start putting on, on more people's feeds. So you have to get a buzz around your video. And you know what? It's actually, people say, why do you comment on your own video? Well, guess mm -hmm. what? That's the best thing you could do. Mm -hmm. Comment on your video and start a conversation in the chat room. And on make sure to pin your comment. Pin your comment so it stays to the top. People are going to answer it. Trust mm -hmm. me. They're going to answer it. And another and reason, uh, sorry to interrupt, Ange, ju just to touch yeah. up on that point. Another reason to pin your comment is because uh, algorithm looks at uh, uh, videos that are shot in 4K quality, pinned, shared on Facebook, not just shared, but liked on Facebook. There's like certain checklists, like 9, 10 check checklists that it helps the video to garnish more viewers, more attention. And number one way of doing that is actually encouraging to all your viewers to do what I'm about to say, which is to like this live stream and share it out because the shares and likes are creating that uh, engagement that Angie is mm -hmm. describing. And engagement sends signals to YouTube algorithm saying, hey, this topic is hot. A lot of people are interested. So go ahead and show even bigger audiences, see what they think about that. And usually they show it to bigger audiences and that's when even more views come in. With more views, it's that domino effect. You're gonna mm -hmm. get more watch hour, possibly you're gonna get more subscribers and yeah. possibly your viewers are gonna watch your other videos too. So that's why another way of saying is you're one good video from blowing your channel up. If one video yeah. hits 1 million uh, views, best mm -hmm. believe your other videos are gonna get a few hundred thousand as well. And that's that's a good point because you know when you're when you're under like five thousand, I would say even under ten thousand. Okay, mm -hmm. when you're under ten thousand, you seem to be chasing the subscribers, right? Let me mm -hmm. get one, two, three, uh, four thousand, five thousand. You chase mm -hmm. them. Once you hit ten k, it's a domino effect. It's a snowball effect. After people say, "Hey, did you see that channel? Hey, it's cool. I'm gonna like it." Instead of getting one follower a day, you're gonna get five, ten, maybe even twenty followers a day. You know what I mean? Then the big you get to 20k, you're gonna get to 30k. You get to 30k, you're gonna get to 40, then you're gonna balloon up to a hundred, you know, like if it's a really hot topic that you're talking about. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. People they say, Oh, but why are you only at two thousand? Why are you only at three thousand? You know what I mean? It only takes one video to get that's you to ten K, get you to fifteen K. It only takes one big person to see you to have them on their team to collaborate with them. To 100%. say come down to LA because I have an opportunity for you. This exposure, is so true. Exposure, exposure, exposure. Absolutely. And uh, we, 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 we're running out of time. We do have some time left.